Nicola Sturgeon more often gets the celebrity treatment than the politician. And there's no doubting her popularity played a big part in SNP success. It's my own. But you don't win a landslide victory just by taking selfies. So what was going on away from the cameras? This is the so-called SNP war room on election night. Yeah! We've been talking to two of the key characters, the backroom strategists, the Linton Crosbys of the SNP, if you like, to try and find out some of the secrets behind the SNP storm at Westminster. The key, the key defining factor is just absolute positivity. We might not always have uh, favourable press, you know, hey, political parties are always going to complain about that, but we've used social media in, in a way to reach out to people that are genuinely switched off. But at the same time, you have got the Murdoch endorsement through the Scottish Sun. Well, I mean, in 2007, uh, the Scottish Sun had our symbol as a noose. So, you know, it goes both ways. <laughs> they believe their success yeah. lies yeah, in yeah. tailoring Selfie. social media to issues individual users are interested in talking to people, not at them. Though the other parties would argue they do the same, the SNP presence on Twitter has certainly been vocal. Some of it not so positive. The so-called cybernats, individual SNP supporters, have hurled abuse at those who don't agree with them, like author J.K. Rowling. The, the, the idea that the SNP has anything to do with these idiots is, uh, is completely untrue. And in certain circumstances, there have been times when we've seen uh, IP address ranges on websites that we control um, that are not necessarily SNP branded, but you know, sometimes you wonder whether where, where it's coming from exactly. Are you suggesting there could be false kind of flag operations going on? I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't want to make those accusations. If you're wondering about the accents, they're Canadian and South African albeit with an acquired Scottish lilt. But both men say it's not just about being strategists, they truly share SNP values. Scottish nationalism is defined by its civic nature. It's open. Uh, it's not about where you're from, it's where you're going together. And I think, uh, you know, if I'm an example of that, um, it's fantastic. For now, they're going to Westminster, all 56 of them. But where will the SNP strategists take them next?